materials for about all of those su those substances. It's not a substance, it's a surface, all those surfaces. And um, <clears throat> I like to think I make it simple because I like simple. So that's probably why. Because I paint them, they look good. If I do say so myself, you gotta own some things, people. You gotta own some things. You gotta own the flaws, you could, gotta own the strengths. So, I am painting, um, this is the big chunk side thing that's usually on the, the refrigerator is usually in. And um, I am using, okay, can you see that? Okay, good. That's a little Brad thing I still need to pull out. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I am using, of course, DIY paint because you don't have to do the sanding, the priming, the crud because it's got clay in it and chalk and water and then other natural things, completely natural, that are bonding agents naturally. So you can put it on the wood, it's gonna bond to the wood. I have decided to use, after a lot of uh, trying to decide, and y'all helped me a lot and I appreciate it, I ended up with using, this is hard to see, cause my, I'm messy. This is Sandy Blonde. However, I've also mixed it with half of the crinoline, which is a, a white, but it's a creamy white. Not, not yellow based dish but uh, but creamy, just a beautiful cream, beautiful and creamy. So it's about half and half. And I put one coat on and I'm putting another coat on and then I'll put some big top on there. I'll talk about that later. I also, <laughs> this is like a marketing video, is it not? It's my paint pixie brush. Hey, sorry. Um, I so seldom see it looking, it's usually that. This is my synthetic bristled paint pixie brush. And um, it's magical. And I say that not because I retail them, I retail them because it's magical. Okay, they are magical. This, you can pretty much, oh look, there's water on it. I always keep a wet brush, that's a good tip. You can pretty much brush it, even if you don't know what you're doing, and it will not show brush strokes. It's, it's crazy crazy good. It's just saying. All right, so I'm going to professionally dip this in here like this. Um, and where can you see? Because I couldn't get it up high enough. I'll just start right there. Oh, it's creamy good. You don't have to be the professional painter type with the certain strokes, like you need to do this stroke and that stroke. You don't have to. It's, uh, it's crazy. And wonderful when you're doing a big job like the kitchen cabinets. Can you see I'm trying to do, oh, you can see higher, okay, good. So the crown molding's up here, but I couldn't get it in the picture. My tripod, y'all, my tripod. Did you just see my underarm? That's not good, I'll have to edit that out. Um, could not get it high enough. Ain't no mountain high enough. Okay, and I need more water. This is kind of how you know with DIY paint. It should glide, really kind of glide. And if it starts sort of sticking, that's not okay. I mean, it's fine, it will look good, but it's not much fun to apply that way. So, there's my second coat of slash crinoline and, I mean, crinoline slash sandy blonde. And hopefully this light isn't going to show it accurately either. But I will try to, in post-production, <laughs> I just mean when I edit it uh, in iMovie, I'll try to make sure that the, the color you see is an accurate one so you can get an accurate picture of the, that's paint color mixed. Okay, you can't see down there so I'm going to go on across here. Look, it's kind of streaked because it's not totally mixed together there. I love that, actually. I mean, I can smooth it out. You can mix this stuff and blend it right on the surface of a piece. It doesn't have to be perfectly mixed before you put it on because it's just that easy to work with. User-friendly. User-friendly. Clap, 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 clap. Yeah, I need more water because it's, it's dragging and there's paint on the brush. It's not gliding. I didn't bring my, my spray bottle up here in the nether regions. Okay. Well, you 
you can't tell how pretty that is, but I'll come back and do more when I finish this second coat and when I put on the big top. Because I've always used Minwax Polycrylic because it doesn't yellow initially. Um, it, it's clear and all the things. When I used to do customs before I knew about DIY paint. And uh, in fact, I argued with uh, Joni of, um, t uh, what is it, t not Tidewater, Vintage. Something vintage. I'll have to come back and put this in because she's an incredible artist and painter. Um, and she said, when I was talking about Minimax Polycrylic a long time ago, a couple years, and um, I said it doesn't yellow, and she said, it does yellow. And I was like, sorry, baby girl, it doesn't It doesn't yellow. I use it on white cabinets all the time. <laughs> she was like, it does yellow. <laughs> no, here's what it is. It does yellow over time. Because my cabinets that I've used it on in our rental house definitely were a shade yellower than when I did them. <laughs> Had no idea. That means all the customs that I've done with the white cabinets that probably look a little yellow and I feel bad about that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hopefully not, and I'm sure it's gradual, but it does yellow. I don't want more yellow on here. I want it to this tone and not even yellower, a yellower tone. So that is where the big top comes in and why I use it. I'm using it for this job in particular because it will keep the exact color and it will be durable and it will last for as many years and as you want it to, until, until it comes off, it won't come off, until you take it off or paint over it is, is better, much easier. Okay, I'll be back. <clears throat> Did y'all see Elaine uh, on Seinfeld ever do that? I can't do it like her, but she'd go. <clears throat> it's not cute. 